Hey there, it's Elliot. Today we're diving into the world of iCloud unlocking. I've seen so many of you struggling with that iPhone lock to owner message, also known as iCloud activation lock. It can be a real headache. Whether on your iPhone, iPad, or Apple Watch, this lock can seriously hinder your enjoyment of your device. You might be thinking about some services or software you've seen online that promise to unlock your device. While some may work, they can be risky and often expensive, and there's no guarantee. But hey, I've got some excellent news for you. In this video, I will show you multiple ways to safely and quickly remove this lock without spending a dime. So, stick around, and let's conquer this iCloud activation lock together. Let's go. Just a quick reminder, this guide is only for folks who own their device and have misplaced their login details. We're not here to help you break laws or bypass security on devices that aren't yours. Keep it legal and respect others' rights. Our video follows YouTube's rules and community standards. Now that we've cleared that up, let's get back to it. Many services claim to help with iCloud unlocking, and I know how confusing it can be to choose the right one. Some options include Unlock Here's AI-powered unlocking web app, Safe Unlocks, Lock to Owner, and iUnlock app. Now, a buddy of mine recently got caught up in this activation lock situation. He'd picked up this sleek iPhone at a second-hand shop, but realized it was iCloud locked. Imagine his frustration. But then he stumbled upon Safe Unlocks. It was a breeze, and he unlocked his phone without hassle. For educational purposes, we're going to dig deep into that. Then you've also got iUnlock app, another solid choice for getting rid of that annoying iPhone lock to owner message. Quite a few folks I know have had smooth sailing using iUnlock app. Then there's Unlock, here's AI-powered unlocking web app. It's like having your very own tech whiz working through the problem. It's super straightforward and efficient, not to mention it's AI-powered. How cool is that? Last but not least, we've got Lock to Owner. It's like the new kid on the block, but don't let that fool you. They're quite the contender when it comes to iCloud unlock services. Each of these services has strengths, and it's all about finding what works best for your situation. Remember, we're just sharing information here. All right, now that we've laid out your options, let's take a closer look at how to use Unlock Here's AI Unlocking Assistant in the next step. Stay tuned for that. Just a heads up, these unlocking services typically work best in first world countries. If you're having trouble accessing or would not use them, don't sweat it. We've got a sweet deal for you. Every week, we give away 250 unlocks to our loyal viewers. To be in with a chance to win, it's as simple as one, two, three. Here's what you've got to do. Hit the like button on this video. Subscribe to our channel. Comment below with your device's model, like Samsung S9, IMEI, and country. Once you've completed these steps, you're automatically entered into the unlock giveaway. So go ahead and get involved. All right, here's how it works with unlockhere.com, an AI-powered web app that can tackle any mobile phone restriction you're dealing with. First, you will head to unlockhere.com on your phone's web browser or computer. Once you're there, you'll see Nifty, the AI bot. Let Nifty know you're looking to unlock your iCloud by clicking on Activation Lock. Then, you'll select which device you're dealing with. In this case, we're choosing an iPhone, but you could also select an iPad or Apple Watch if you have those. This next part is important. You've got to enter your device's IMEI or serial number. Every iPhone has an IMEI, but an iPad or Apple Watch might only have a serial number, especially if it doesn't have a SIM card slot. You can find this information on your locked device. Just press the sleep button, hit it again, and tap on the I at the bottom right. This will show you your device info. Don't forget, on the next step, you'll need to put in your device information. Next up, you'll need to enter some basic info to link the order to your account. Ensure the information is correct so you can get your order confirmation. They'll send you a confirmation code via email that you'll need later. Just check that you agree with the terms and are not trying to unlock a stolen device. Solve the quick captcha to prove you're not a bot, then hit start process. At this point, you should have received an email with a confirmation code. If you don't see it, check your spam or junk folder. Grab that code and head back to the Unlock Here website. You'll need to enter it there and prove you're not a robot once again. As soon as you've entered the code, your unlock process will get started. And before you know it, your device will be free from that lock. As you can see here, we swipe up to see the iPhone locked to owner page. In this part, it really takes time and patience. We wait for the unlock process to activate the phone, 
And as you can see, we swipe left and wait for a few minutes to activate your iPhone. Don't worry, it will be worth the wait. You will enjoy your phone once again, once it's finally unlocked. So it may take a few minutes to activate your iPhone. Patience is the key here. And there it is. In this part, let's skip all the setup. Don't worry, you can go back to set it all up later. Make sure to check the terms and conditions and skip the rest of the steps and just do it all later on. And there you have it. It says, welcome to iPhone. Now, go to settings and create your own Apple ID. Tap forget password or don't have Apple ID to create a new one. And here you can just add your personal details to continue. And here's a shortcut to check your device info, making sure that this is legit. And yeah, your device is now fully unlocked and ready to use. That's it for this method. It's pretty easy, right? Now, stick around because we've got more for those who want a different approach. So don't go anywhere. All right, guys, let's explore alternative ways to remove the iCloud activation lock. We're always looking for the most efficient tricks and ideas, and that's precisely what we've got for you. First, it's essential to understand the role of iCloud activation lock. It's a security feature that prevents unauthorized use of your device, but it can sometimes get in the way when we forget our access info or buy a secondhand device. Now, a legal method to remove this lock is contacting Apple support. It sounds simple, right? But there's a catch. You'll need to provide proof of purchase and often the original receipt from when the device was bought new. It's a bit of a long shot, especially when dealing with pre-owned devices. So always think about that when buying a used iPhone or iPad. Another option is to contact the previous owner. They can lift the lock and remove the device from their iCloud account. But again, this depends a lot on your circumstances. It's all about providing options and letting you choose what works best for you. So take these tips, do your homework, and always choose a solution that's fast, efficient, legal, and safe. So stay tuned, and I'll see you in the next one.